Now guys, I don't know if you know this, but there are a lot of shady companies promoting their products on YouTube. Specifically, they are paying YouTube sponsorships to promote their terrible products on YouTube. I don't know if you've heard about this, right? Of course, there's the original, the OG established titles. We all know about established titles. There's, of course, BetterHelp, which is a company that was crucified on YouTube years ago for what they did, but now they're back. All the big YouTubers promoting BetterHelp again. They're back, they're bigger than ever, right? Of course, there's Raid Shadow Legends. Everyone hates Raid Shadow Legends, right? They steal art from other creators. So they're a terrible company, but people love, all the, all the big YouTubers love to promote Raid Shadow Legends. There's a bunch of these terrible companies all over YouTube paying, paying YouTubers a bunch of money. Please promote our product, right? But the company we're going to talk about today, they take the cake, guys, right? They, uh, they, they up the stakes. They, they, they saw all these other companies and they're like, oh, you're getting YouTubers to promote your product? Or in the case of BetterHelp, to promote your service? No, no, no. That's child's play. You know what we're going to do? We're going to pay YouTubers to promote our stock directly. We're going to tell YouTubers that they have to invest in our company because we're going to go to the moon and it's going to pump the price of our stock to the moon, basically, is what's going to happen, right? Now, to me, that seems incredibly inappropriate, guys. And possibly, I don't know, I'm not in law enforcement, but possibly, possibly even illegal. Again, I don't know that it is. I don't want to get sued. I really don't know. I'm not in law enforcement. But I think at the very least, at the very least, some sort of law enforcement agency uh, should look into the company we're going to talk about today because this seems very fishy, at, at the least, that they are literally paying YouTubers to try and pump the stock price of their company to the moon. Now, what company I'm specifically talking about is a company called Poet Technologies. Now, Poet Technologies is in the chip making AI, you know, space and AI is super cool nowadays. Uh, so obviously, you know, anything AI, people are thinking, oh, this company is going to go to the moon. Uh, that's why this company is kind of in the news right now. But Poet Technologies, they're a very small company. The company right now actually doesn't make any money, but potentially they could make money in the future. Now, what they do isn't really all that relevant to the actual video, but the little backstory as to what it is. Now, at the start of the year, uh, I'll, I'll show their stock on the screen. At the start of the year, their, their stock price was less than a dollar a share. And as of right now, as the time of filming, it's $4.04, right? So it's gone up quite a bit just over the over the past, over, over 2024, it's gone up uh, quite a bit. Now, if you don't know, basically any stock under $5 is considered a penny stock. And these stocks are incredibly, incredibly volatile because they can go up and down. They can have massive swings because there's not a lot of money uh, involved in this company compared to a much larger stock like, say, Tesla, for example, right? If a YouTuber puts out a video, it doesn't matter how large they are. If they're a million subscriber YouTuber, uh, like, let's say Graham Stephan, for example. If Graham Stephan puts out a video talking about how he thinks Tesla is amazing and it's going to go to the moon, his video is not going to move the needle on the stock price of Tesla probably at all. It, pro probably not going to move the needle at all because there are billions of dollars running through Tesla on a daily basis. Now that changes if you have a large enough YouTuber promoting a penny stock, a, a company that has very low volume compared to something like Tesla. If they put out a video that gets out enough views and they tell their, they tell their followers, guys, this small penny stock, it's going to go to the moon. I'm investing in it and you should invest in it too. There's a very real chance that the stock could go up massively just from that YouTube video. And that's actually what happened, right? There, there were some other things going on, but a lot, of, a lot of the success of the company over the year has happened from two YouTubers promoting this company. Now, the first YouTuber we're going to take a look at is a, is a, a channel called Ticker Symbol U. And I got to say, I really like that channel name. He makes it all about you guys. It's not about him. It's not about making him rich, you know, getting paid $50,000 to promote a, a stock to you guys. No, 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 guys. Ticker Symbol U is all about you. He cares. And that, that means a lot to me that he cares. He, he really cares about you guys. So Ticker Symbol U, he is a stock market channel. He's been around. He's quite successful. He's just shy of 400,000 uh, subscribers. He's been making YouTube videos for about four years. He doesn't make a lot of videos. I think he makes about one video a week. <laughs> and basically, he talks about different uh, stocks that he thinks are going to be good long-term investments. He likes to talk about NVIDIA a lot. Uh, and he actually made some videos about the Poet stock, which were very interesting, very interesting. And he, he talked about how this company is, is definitely a company you need to invest in. It's definitely a company that could potentially see 
some huge growth, which is quite interesting that such a large YouTuber would promote a penny stock to his followers. And many of which are on my list of top stocks to get rich without getting lucky in 2024. But before we can decide whether Poet Stock belongs on that list, let's talk about their financials and their biggest risks. Now, what's really interesting, guys, if you actually look at the stock chart of Poet Technologies, I have it pulled up right here, on October, uh, sorry, on April uh, 22nd, it went from a dollar five to all the way to uh, 228. Now, if we go over to uh, ticker symbol U, you can see that on April 21st, sorry, did I say, yeah, April 22nd, sorry, I'm getting confused with the current month of October, but on April 22nd, it started to go to the moon, and on April 21st, he put out a video, top three AI stocks I'm buying now as Nvidia stock crashes. And you actually see that he talks uh, at the six minute mark, he talks about Poet Technologies. So that's really interesting. That's really interesting that the day before, uh, the day before the stock market has, the stock has a, a massive pump, that he puts out this video that gets uh, 163,000 views promoting Poet Technologies. Interesting, interesting. Now at this point you're thinking, hey, maybe, maybe this guy just really likes this stock. How do we know he actually got paid? We'll get into that, guys. We will get into that. But what's really interesting, let's go back to the, the Poet stock again. We'll see that on June 27th to June 28th, that's when there was another massive pump in the price of, of Poet Technologies. Now, what's interesting is ticker symbol U didn't actually release a video uh, in June covering Poet, Poet Technologies, but another, another large stock channel, FinTech, did actually release a video on June 26th, again, timing that pump perfectly, he released a video, get in early, top three AI stocks that are better than Nvidia. And sure enough, right around the six minute mark, he talks about Poet Technologies again. And again, guys, maybe he just really likes the company. Maybe, I'm sure he wasn't, I'm sure he wasn't paid to promote this. No, no, no. I'm sure he just really likes it. And he just, per he just perfectly, perfectly timed uh, the pump on Poet Technologies stock. I I'm sure that's all it was. Let's, let's keep going though, right? So a few weeks ago, on September 19th to September 20th, there was another huge bump in the price. Uh, got it from all the way from about 314 to about uh, 462. So let's see uh, June, sorry, September 23rd. So let's go ahead and pull up uh, Poet, sorry, ticker symbol U. And again, you can see on September 22nd, uh, a video was released by ticker symbol U talking about, I'm investing in this huge AI network breakthrough. And this entire video, not only in the other videos, he was talking about other stocks as well. This entire video, he just talks about Poet Technologies. It's an entire video dedicated to that company. Um, got 128,000 views and it timed the pump of that stock just perfectly, guys. Very, very interesting. Now, what's interesting about this video, uh, if you actually go through it, it's nothing but positive comments now. I went, I went and looked at it a couple weeks ago and there was a bunch of negative comments about people saying, hey, this seems kind of fishy. Why are, you, uh, why are you pumping up this penny stock so much? Why are you so interested in this penny stock? A lot of people were, thought that was fishy. And it turns out it's because this company, uh, this, this channel was actually paid uh, $50,000 for this specific video. And he, he's been paid to promote this company in the past as well. Now, if you don't believe me, here is ticker symbol U in his own words, talking about how he was paid $50,000 to promote a penny stock to his audience. Anyway, my most recent dedicated video was actually only a few weeks ago, covering the patents and partnerships of a company called Poet Technologies. Most people have never dealt with sponsors like this, so let me show you how all this stuff works behind the scenes. Here's the press release they wanted me to mention, which also determined when the video could be released. I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement to read it before it got published, and since it wasn't public information, I couldn't buy the stock until the announcement went live and my video came out. Bummer. And here's the feedback that they gave me on my script. They asked me to use the words AI networks instead of data centers, since that's what was in the press release. They clarified a few words about the benefits of their device to data centers, and they made me take out a joke where I said that we could buy the whole company if all 400,000 of us chipped in 500 bucks each. We charged $50,000 to make that video, but we would never make a dedicated video that we don't believe in. So there you go, guys. In his own words, he admitted that he was paid $50,000 to promote a penny stock to his company, and he even wanted to include a joke in it, talking about how his, he, you know, him and his followers 
could manipulate the market and buy the whole company. That's hilarious. Stock market manipulation is obviously hilarious. You should definitely, definitely make jokes about that, right? But again, more information has come out. We saw that FinTech, uh, as well as ticker symbol U, have both been paid uh, to promote this company to their audience. Now, like I said, I don't know that anything they anything that they did was illegal or anything that the company did was illegal as well. Ticker symbol U specifically said he was told he can't actually buy the stock before the, uh, the press release came out and his video came out, had to uh, correlate with the press release as well. So obviously if he followed those rules and didn't buy any stock, then he didn't do anything illegal, I don't think. But this company paying YouTubers directly to promote their stock is one of the sketchiest things I've seen in a long time, right? That's not appropriate, specifically for this channel, which has 400,000 subscribers. And people, I, I've seen the comments on many of his videos, his audience really trusts him, right? He puts a lot of effort into these videos, you know, going into the analytics behind all these different companies and whether he thinks they're good investments or not. And now his audience knows that the, the last video he did, he did before this, this video, uh, talking about Poet, was just an entire paid ad, right? It's one thing to put a sponsorship for a product in your video, and I understand, I know, I know people don't like sponsorships at all, but the ad revenue really doesn't pay as much as anywhere near as what sponsorships can, can do, so I understand why a lot of YouTubers, if you do your research and you actually get a good sponsorship, I understand why YouTubers put a sponsorship in their video, but that's different than making it an entire video which your audience thinks is organic, thinks that you're talking about this company because you really like them, but the entire video was paid for by that company. You were paid 50 grand. 50 grand is more than most people around the world make in a single year. And this guy was paid $50,000 to pump up this company's stock price to his audience. His audience is nothing but people who want to invest in the stock market. They see this video. They see this guy they trust online. Wow, guy says this company is going to the moon. I'm definitely investing in it. Oh, by the way, the company paid $50,000 to make sure you invested in them. Now, like I said, guys, I don't know that anything was illegal, illegally done here by the company, but I think at the very least that investigators should be looking into this company and any company, any, any stock company that is paying YouTubers directly to pump up their stock price, that seems incredibly inappropriate. Martha Stewart actually went to jail years ago for insider trading. And this definitely, this is definitely right on the line, right on the line of some, some really sketchy stuff with, uh, with what's going on here. I, 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 I gotta be honest with you. This, this really pisses me off. Probably more so than other YouTubers who did, took sponsorships for like established titles. Cause most of them, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to like cover for them, but most of them didn't probably didn't just, just didn't do the research and didn't know what it actually was. This guy did his research. He knew exactly what this was. He knew that he was paying, he was being paid $50,000 to promote this to his audience. And he went ahead and did it. That's super sketchy and super inappropriate in my opinion. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this? Are you okay with YouTubers being paid 50 grand to pump up a stock price, to make it go to the moon, to get their audience to invest in a stock? Let me know. Uh, if you think this is appropriate or if you think that YouTube should not allow this to happen on their platform.